Hello Wigzars, and today we're going to be going through the mods that have been released or data mined for the Gauntlet which starts tomorrow. And trust me, they are very, very spicy. Now I have them on screen here, but obviously they do have a spoiler tag. So if you have clicked on this video and you do not want to be spoiled, now is your chance to leave the video before I reveal anything. This is your one and only warning because I will be jumping straight into them in the next 20 seconds. Other than that, in terms of the channel guys, if you are not subscribed and you have been watching quite a few of my videos, my build guy videos, my ice Nova video, anything that's helped you this league, then consider subscribing because it will help the channel. So let's jump into these mods. Are we ready? Because you are not ready. <laughs> <laughs> when I read them today, I was like, oh my god. It felt like Christmas opening on this post, because you do them one at a time. Are we ready? Okay, so, first things first, every single act boss in the campaign is going to have some special mods, and these have all been data mined so far, up to, I believe, Act 7. So we're going to run through them. So first things first, you wouldn't have thought Hillock would have any mods, but he does. He has Leap Slam. Now, the worst thing that I'm concerned about is if we have a Uber version of Uber Hillock, which as you can see on screen here, is I'm wondering whether we're going to have this version of Uber Hillock where he will constantly spawn ads and zombies out of the ground and he has that Leap Slam attack, which is going to be very spicy. So you are going to have to kill him quite fast. Otherwise, you do one Leap Slam and he's going to take you down to pretty much nearly nearly three quarters health. If we just go back to that then, one shot, bang, straight down to 100, from 139, lost his energy shield and lost all of his life. So he lost, what, 50, 60, 70, he lost 80 life. Now, bearing in mind, this guy is probably like level 7 or 8 because he's got 139 life and he's probably farming Onigoroshi, which is the sword that this guy drops. We are not going to have this much life. So if he hits you for 50, 60, 70, 80 life when you only have 60 to begin with, yeah, that is an instant one shot. You are dead. So I can imagine that a lot of people are going to struggle to get off the beach in Twilight Strand. There is going to be a hell of a lot of deaths just from Leap Slam. So next one, are we ready? Is Weaver. Weaver has additional physical damage reduction. So as much as there is already mods which provide that they take less damage, now he takes less physical damage. So, yeah, so that's not going to be good. Obviously, it just means that he's going to hit you. Um, you're, sorry, when you hit him, it's not going to hit as hard, which is a little bit of a pain. So, good luck with that, because that is going to be... Uh, so, good luck with that, because that is going to be an absolute pain to do. The next one is Act 3. Sorry, Act 2. Alira now has Desecrate. Now, Desecrate doesn't do that much damage, so I'm wondering what it means by this. Does it mean that she will have the Desecrate ability? Will she then explode? I, I, I don't know. What, what does this mean? We're just going to have to wait and see. Next one is Act 3. Now has the Dominus Elder exploding Nova. So... That's going to be fun. So the big ring that would usually expand around the Elder, or you would usually encounter it if you're in Tier 17 maps sometimes, you can actually have these little Elder expanding explosions all around the map. That is what Dominus is going to have, which is not the best, but yeah, nice and spicy. Now you thought that this was bad. Trust me, Act 4 is the turning point of the entire league. If you can get past Act 4, pat yourself on the back. Are you ready for this? First of all, Calm has Volatile and a Firestorm spell. Okay? 
So he's going to have the Volatile Dead spell, I think. And he's going to have the Firestorm spell of raining fucking fire meteors down from the sky. So you are definitely going to want to be fire rezzed, capped, before you go and fight him. And if that's not bad enough, Chavron now has the Siphon Aura. Now, for anyone who doesn't know what this is, I'm going to go and get it on another screen just so you can actually see what it is. But the Siphon Aura, I believe, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it siphons either flasks or energy shield or life from you. I can't remember what it does exactly. Um, just hold on one second. I'm currently trying to find it. And there is nothing on the PoE wiki for it, which is a bit of a pain. But, yeah. There's nothing for the siphon. The only thing that keeps coming up is power siphon or mana siphoner. So she might have the mana siphoner aura, which is not going to be nice either. Then, if you thought that was bad enough, you've now got Dohidri, as I would say it, or Dodri, whatever you want to say it, now has a temporal bubble around him, but it doesn't stop there. He also has 25% reduced action speed and 60% reduced cooldown recovery rate. And it doesn't stop there. He also has debuffs that make you expire 40% slower. So debuffs on you. So if he puts one of these action speed debuffs or a cooldown recovery debuff, it will be on you for a long time. And it doesn't stop there. He cannot be damaged by things that are outside a radius of 32. So you have to basically be inside the bubble. <laughs> I said, didn't I, that Act 4 is, is the turning point. We haven't even got to the best bit yet. Are you ready? Next, Maligaro, which is obviously the end of Act 4's boss. You cannot recover life or energy shield to above 50% whilst you are fighting him. And guess what? It doesn't stop there. He now also has the Maven rotating beams. So you know the beams in the Maven fight right at the end that degen you and stops you from recovering life and recovering energy shield? Malachi now has that. Now, you know how mobile malachi can be round and teleporting around the map so these beams are going to keep moving which is going to be a little bit dangerous to to kind of just say that all this is in act four is pretty dangerous so i would recommend doing the old farm of dried lake and get over leveled mate because if you don't you will die before you've even got to Duresio or Colm, or Chavron, or Dodri, or Malachi, get leveled. Stay in Dried Lake, get some levels, get some gear, maybe go and do the first lab, go and re-roll Faustus, get some better gear, get some better armor, make sure you're res capped because you will get absolutely annihilated if you are not res capped. Moving on, if you manage to survive all of this, you then are free in Act 5. From what I can see, there is not nothing that's been data mined for Act 5 as of yet, but there may be more. Act 6, the Brian King now has the Anchor Slam and the waves that you saw from the Pirate Boss this league. So whilst you are inside the Brian King fight, you are going to have all of these uh, waves and everything basically spinning around you. So whilst you are obviously within, the, and what the dangerous thing is, is whilst you are in this circle here, which I'm just going to get it on screen now for you when it decides to load, whilst you are in this tiny circle here, dodging all these strikes of lightning all these water splashes which nearly kill you anyway you are then now going to have to dodge waves of water which you may not be able to see because they're kind of come th they're going to come through the water wave and then on top of that you're going to have an anchor slamming down on top of your head so yeah that's going to be a fun fight are you ready for the next one 
The next one is Arakali, and it says that it summons an egg with mortar. Now, I don't quite understand what that means, but I think that it means that he will summon an egg on the map, which will then fire a mortar skill at you, which is not going to be good. So whilst you're trying to kill him, you're going to be getting constantly fired at from mortars. Now, there is no more that has been data mined from the axe, but we do know that there is going to be extra stuff connected to the Mervel boss for Act 1. There's going to be stuff for the Val Oversoil in Act 2. We know that there's going to be more for Act 5 Katava, but we don't know. There's going to be something for the Act 8 boss, which is obviously the... Um, What is the Act 8 boss? We know that this is going to be something for the Act 8 boss, which is going to be Solaris and Lunaris. Act 9 boss, which is going to be the, the Trinity boss. And then the Act 10 boss for Katava, but we don't know what those are yet. So, but kind of just imagine the worst possible outcome. <laughs> now, moving on, once you get out of the Axe and you go into Maps, everything's fine. Maps are supposed to be easier, that's fine. But if you wanted to try and take on any of the Uber bosses or any of the um, Pinnacle bosses, then the first one is the Eater of Worlds will now have water geysers that will appear that you saw in the pirate boss fight. So all the water geysers that kind of appeared in like a big ring and an inner ring, he's going to have all of them surrounding the Eater of Worlds. Now, they didn't do much damage when I did the fight, so I'm not really concerned about that. However, the next one is a little bit crazy. If you wanted to try Uber Maven, it says that there is rotating beams backwards. Now he's put here, this could mean that there is two sets of beams at the same time, one going forwards and one going backwards. Now bearing in mind that this beam is the one that degens you and stops you from recovering life and uh, energy shield, having two of them, it's hard enough having to scale and navigate one of them whilst also trying to remember and watch the memory game whilst also trying to dodge these beams or that beam, never mind two of them going at the same time. And then finally, the Elder has a Super Siphon, 100% reduced action speed and physical dot. And that is only what's been revealed so far. This sounds crazy. 100% reduced action speed? <laughs> and a physical dot? Yeah. Yeah, that just sounds like... That just sounds like... Death. <laughs> Death in a bottle. <laughs> so, good luck to anyone who wants to, to try any of these, and obviously if you want to get through the axe, but this is just a fraction of what we are in for for this gauntlet. If you manage to survive, and if I manage to survive, Jesus, then I will be very pleased. If I can make it to the end of Act 10 and not die, then I will be very, very surprised. But I have a feeling that it's probably going to take me a few attempts, and... Yeah, it just sounds pretty crazy. But, good luck. Other than that, guys, thank you for watching, and stay sane.